about some of the connecting stuff that you can just start introducing to people. So when I was part of this uh, organization called the Appalachian Center for Economic Networks, and we were especially working with mostly low-income entrepreneurs, and they would never sit down in a room like this <laughs> and for us to talk about networks. And so we really had to think about how do we model what we're doing? How do we give it to people in little activities that they can do that begin to get them thinking? Like the thing that we found is that this little checklist here, just giving this to people. Now, aren't you thinking a lot more about networks than you used to? I mean, so just, just taking that, I don't even have to talk much about it. It's just actually doing the activity. And so that's what we're going to try to do the rest of this afternoon. And we're going to really work on three kinds of, a of activities you want, you know, that you can introduce. And one is to really frame and model network values. There's a different set of values that, that you need to operate out of when you're working in a network way. And you're, we're going to get a chance to do that. Then you're going to get a chance to map your network, map the networks. Because mapping, uh, and that means you know figuring out who people are and who's connected, who's left out, who would you like to have in your network. That kind of activity is incredibly powerful because a lot of us are visual. And so if we actually see our network, you know, we can get a better sense of how to make it better. And then the final one is how do you help people start to act? And this fun thing we're calling closing triangles, and you'll we'll get a chance to talk a little more about that. So, okay, why is it so important to model stuff? Well, this how many of you have heard about mirror net? Mirror neurons, I can hardly say it. Mirror neurons. Oh, wow, great. Okay, what they've been doing research is that they found out that one of the main ways we learn is when somebody else does something, say a mother smiles, you know, or somebody smiles at you, in your brain, the little parts of your brain about smiling start, you know, lighting up. And so that when you go to smile, you know, you, it's so much easier for you to do because your brain has already been kind of integrated. And so when you behave in a certain way, uh, it, that makes it easier for somebody else to learn it. And, you know, you can, what the thing is, we need to be a lot more aware of, you know, how we're acting around other people. Whoops. So, so what we're going to do is let Kristen... <laughs> Tell us what we're going to do, because she's so clear. I don't know about clear, but the second um, the second handout behind the Network Weaver handout is one on values. And June has a whole um, section on, again, sort of helping people see uh, what values do you feel like you already embody and live out in, in your work as a, net, a network leader. So I'd like you to take, just like you did with the checklist, Take a few minutes to fill that out for yourself. 